One of the things I see on little circuit boards is that a lot of them have a couple of buttons. They are reset and boot. And you, you see these on all sorts of designs, even complete designs that aren't like dev boards. And it puzzles me why. It looks like it comes from the original reference designs for the chip manufacturer. You have reset and boot. They do serve a purpose. Reset resets the processor. And boot mode puts it in boot mode, which means you can program it over the serial lead. So they are a little bit fiddly. People get mixed up with them. And I see posts about people very confused about it. The boot needs to be pressed whilst you release the reset. So you have to release the reset first, then the boot. And for some reason, people struggle with that. And I don't know why. But the long and short of it is you don't need them. So why are they there? You'd only need them if you had serial that is literally just tra transmit and receive and ground. But in practice, any UART will have control lines, RTS, DTR, and so on. And if you wire those up to reset and boot, it works. The software, the ESP tool software for flashing these devices, knows to work the reset and, uh, and the, the RTS and DTR lines to do reset and boot. It just does it. So if you've got an external UART, and, and here's a, a board I use for flashing Shelleys with TAS motor, and this connects reset and, and boot through the pins. The other alternative is a lot of boards will have a built-in UART and USB, but again, just connect those control lines. The latest boards, the ESP32 S3, and that's what this board is, have built-in USB, which connects through to the processor directly. So you don't even need a UART, and that internal USB serial port does the reset and boot for you. So ESP tool just talks to that and does them. So again, you just don't need buttons. Anyway, that's the rant over. When you're programming these and you're not having to faff with reset and boot, you want something simple. So I've made this. It's my flasher board. And here's one I have ready to actually use. It's connected to USB for power, it has a memory card in it, and it has the binary code built in on the memory card and a manifest of what to flash and when. So how does it work? Well, it has this connector on the end. It's a TC2030 connector. And you don't need a socket on the board, you just need pads like this. And I plug in the connector and on its display you will see it shows progress of flashing on the blue light and then it goes green and the green means yes the board claims to have passed its internal self-test it's happy now not all boards have a very comprehensive test some of my boards have quite a, a comprehensive test there's actually a loop back in this cable deliberately so that boards can actually test something using the loop back on the cable. My, my fake out boards do that. But that was it, that's programmed now. And if I want to program another one, it is literally plug it in. Don't need to press any buttons, don't need to do anything else. And if something goes wrong, it comes up red, but it programs. So as you can imagine, I can get through programming these boards really quite quickly without any hassle, without button presses or anything. So that's that's the flasher, which I'm quite pleased with. Uh, it's actually got, it, the, the lights let you select which of the manifests you want to program. So you can actually have a lot of different boards in here, in, in there ready to flash. There you go.